Good morning, students. Today our topic is Python programming, and in this lecture, we are going to make some program based on conditional statement. In our last lecture, uh, we made program based on arithmetic operators. So this is program number four. You can easily see program four Python program to generate a random number. So this program basically generated random number between a particular range. So for this, there is a module named random module in Python programming language, and using this module, we can generate a random number between a range. There are different functions available in random module. and one of the function is randint which basically used to generate a random number so program is very simple here we just select a range 0 to 9 it means any number between 0 and 9 and in this case 0 and 9 both are inclusive also it means uh, 0 and 9 can also be generated so first of all what we have to do just write the statement import random it simply means that we just import a module or a library random in our program now we can access any function related to that module so the concept is very simple to implement or to access any function related to random module we just give the name of the random module first after that put dot operator after that name of the function Okay, in this way you can easily access any function related to that particular library. In this case, library or module is random. So first line is import random. Second line is print random dot randint zero comma nine. Now zero comma uh, nine is basically a range. So we can generate any number between zero and nine. In and it is also very important that zero and nine both are included. Both are inclusive. it means 0 and 9 can also be generated so any number between 0 and 9 and including 0 and 9 can be generated using rand int function which is a function related to random module so we just give the model name of the model first that is random then after to put a dot operator and then name of the function that is rand in this case so if you execute this program five times then it is possible that every time it uh, generate a different number it may be possible that it generate the same number because there is also a probability that that number is generated again so but uh, it generate a different number or we can say that it uh, select a number randomly okay so that's why uh, we use a random module to generate a random number so random module is there in which there is a function named randint to access that function we must use a random module or library and uh, if we want to access any library or module first of all we have to import that library into our program only after that we can access any function related to the, related to that library You know, you can take any other uh, range also, but always remember that and values are also inclusive. Included in this case, okay. Um, so five is the answer. It may be possible that you get different answer because the number is generated randomly. So any number between zero to nine, zero and nine, can be generated in this case. Okay, so that is output. Now I think it is clear to all of you. Very simple to implement. Syntax is also given here. Random dot randint a comma b, where we a and b are the values, integer values. Okay.
and you can easily see that value lies between A and B. Our next program is program number 5. Python program to check if a number is positive, negative or 0. So to implement this, we use if elif else statement. First of all, as you know that these are the conditional statements, if elif else. There are basically three types of conditional statement. If a statement, if elif else statement and if else statement. So if there is only one condition, we give if statement. If there are two condition, we give if else statement. And if there are more than two condition statement condition, then we use if elif else statement. In this program, as we see that uh, there are three condition whether the number is positive, it may be negative, or it may be zero. So three conditions are there. So we can make this program using if elif else statement. So first of all, we take a number. So input that number. We we just uh, give a variable in num, and uh, a statement is num is equal to float input enter a number after that just after that we give a statement if number is greater than zero so we check whether the number is greater than zero or not if this statement is found to be true then the statement that will be printed is positive number because uh, you can easily see that print positive number is a statement which is attached with if num greater than zero and you can easily see because proper indentation is there and use of indentation is basically uh, tells us that which statements related to which condition so if number is greater than zero is found to be true then uh, the statement print positive number will be printed now if it is found to be false then second condition will be checked means elif statement will be executed and that is elif num equal to zero so if number greater than 0 is found to be false, then second statement elif num greater than 0 is to be checked. And if it is found that it is equal to check, then 0 will be printed because print 0 statement is there. And if it is also found to be false, then third statement will definitely be printed. In which we can see that else statement is given here. And you can see that there is no condition regarding to else. And we don't give any condition regarding to else because this is the syntax of the if elif else statement first thing and second thing is if all the conditions found to be false then whatever we give in else that will definitely be executed okay so you can see that if number is not greater than zero if number is not also not equal to zero then definitely it will be a negative number so we give a statement else print negative number so negative number will be printed a statement is that negative number will be printed okay so this is a program using if elif else statement always remember that if you have more than two conditions then always use if elif else statement if you have two conditions only then use if else and if you have generally one condition then we can give if a statement you can make this program using if only but uh, in this case we use nested if this means if under if So we can make pro this program in many different ways in which uh, one of the simplest method is using if elif else statement we just count the number of the conditions and if the number of the conditions found to be more, more greater than two then uh, we just use if elif else statement suppose if there are four conditions then one f elif is a, a statement should also be there so first condition is basically we give with, with if and rest condition uh, we give it elif statement and last when all conditions found to be false that statement will be printed uh, or that statement will be printed with else statement now uh, you can easily see that this program is again same uh, object of the program is now same but we now make this program using nested if only so nested if is if under if Okay. So first of all, we take a number. So we take a variable name num, and the statement is float input enter a number will be printed here. And then if number is greater than equal to zero, number is greater than equal to zero is given here. 
that is that should be checked and if it is found to be true now we have two possibilities whether the number is greater than 0 or it is equal to 0 first of all we check if number equal to 0 um, you can easily see that there is a, again a if a statement and that if a statement is a part of first if a statement so again condition uh, should be checked and then if if it is found that it is greater than or equal to 0 and it is equal to 0 then print 0 will be 0 will be printed in this case and if it is not equal to 0 then it will be a positive number and then we can see that another else statement is there and which is a part of first if statement in which we can just write that we just write print negative number then negative then number is found to be a negative so the more uh, the main objective of this program is main concept of this program is first of all we divide this program into two different sections first of all we check whether a number is greater than uh, uh, greater than or equal to zero and second it is less than it is uh, a negative number obviously if, if a number is not found greater than or equal to zero then it is a negative number so first condition we give if num greater than or equal to zero and with regard to this if statement there is an else statement which shows a negative number now as far as first if is concerned within the if statement we have two conditions whether the number is found to be equal to zero or it may be possible that it is greater than zero so we just make another if else statement within that if or this is called the nested if so we get, we just give if number is greater equal to number is equal to zero then zero will be printed and otherwise uh, and if number is not greater than uh, number is not equal to zero then definitely it is a positive number because in first condition um, we give just number greater than equal to zero so we have only two possibilities it is equal to zero or it is a positive number so we just give it with if else statement now i think it is clear to all of you so same program is implemented in a different manner here So that is our that is a program. So using nested if nested if simply means that condition under condition. So we can write another if another if under a particular if it will also be executed or the condition will be checked according to that. So this is an example of nested if. So you can make this program in two different ways using if I if else statement and using nested if now you can see the output we just uh, execute this program two times first of all to check for a positive number and second time for zero okay so if we put enter number two and we just enter a number 2 then it is found to be positive number and if we just give 0 then it is shows that it is a 0 so the program is correct you can also check it for negative number now second program python program to check if a number is odd or even and then this is program number six even number are those number which are completely divisible by two and odd number are those number which are not completely divisible by two the definition is very simple and we have to check whether a given number is a odd or even number the source code is given here and we make this program using if else statement only if else statement
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू कैन यूज दैट देर इज ए स्टेटमेंट नम इंट इनपुट एंटर ए नंबर ओके इंट इनपुट एंटर ए नंबर एंड सेकेंड लाइन यू चेक इफ नंबर मॉडल डिविजन टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो मॉडल डिविजन इज बेसिकली शोज अस अ रिमाइंडर सो इफ रिमाइंडर इज फाउंड टू बी जीरो देन देर इज अ प्रिंट स्टेटमेंट प्रिंट इन कल ब्रैकेट वी गिव द पोजिशन जीरो इज इवन डॉट फॉर्मेट नम सो आफ्टर द एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ द प्रोग्राम इफ इट इज कंडीशन फाउंड टू बी ट्रू दैन सपोज नम इक्वल टू फोर दैन द स्टेटमेंट फोर इज इवन विल बी प्रिंटेड ओके सो वी यूज अ फॉर्मेट फंक्शन हियर टू रिप्रेजेंट अ नंबर and if it is found to be false then second part of the program else statement will be executed which says that it is a odd number so zero is odd zero is the position and there is only one single element here only one is um, number is uh, an element is here which is num so num is odd whatever you then value the num suppose it is if it is 3 then the statement This will print it. Look like three is odd. Now you can see the output. Two output are there. First of all, we just give a number value forty three. Then we can see that forty three is odd will be printed. In second case, we just give eighteen. Eighteen will be the even number. So number shown that it is a even number. Now program number seven. Python program to find the largest among three numbers. Largest among three numbers. So three numbers are there. You can easily see that you can give any three numbers. Num one, num two, num three. Or you can make user input in this program also. So you have two choice, two choices here. Okay. So now we have to find out the largest among the three numbers. So the simple formula is to find out the largest among three numbers. First of all, we check first number and compare it with. Other two numbers, and uh, if it found to be greater than zero, then obviously number one is a largest number, and if it is found to be false, then we check same process of a second number, and if it also is found to be false, then definitely number three will be the largest number. So that is the basic concept. Okay. So first of all, what we have to do, just uh, make user input. Num one, num two, and num three are the three variables in which three different numbers can be stored. They are different, or they may be same, or any one, any two of them may be same. So whatever we write, whatever we want to give the value, we just give the values in num one, num two, and num three. And our motive is to find out the maximum number. Okay. It may be positive number, it may be negative number, it may be zero number, may be the same. So we just give three numbers: num one, num two, and num three. And our objective is to find out the largest among these three numbers. I just write this statement uh, using comment because I already give num one, num two, and num three: ten, fourteen, and twelve. 
So we make this program using if else else statement. So first condition we have to check whether number one is greater than other two number or not. So we should check number one is greater than number two and number one is greater than or equal to number three. So two conditions are there. And if it is found that both the two conditions are found to be true, then of course without any doubt number one is the largest number. So we separate these two conditions using AND operator. Okay. And for check number two, we just give the statement in elf using elf. So here we just give number two is greater than or equal to number one, and number two is greater than or equal to number three. Of course, if number two is greater than number one, and if number two is found to be again greater than or equal to number three, then number two is the largest number. So we just give largest is equal to number two. And if number one is not found to be greater than equal number one is not largest number two is also not largest then definitely number three is the largest value so we just give else largest is equal to number three and after that there is a print statement the largest number is largest so largest number will be printed so that is the concept of uh, concept to implement largest among three numbers So three conditions there. First of all, we check for if number one, second for number two, whether it is greater than for number one and number two, uh, number three, and third, of course, when uh, if it is found that number is not greater than other two numbers, number two is not greater than other two numbers, then of course number three is the largest number, so largest is equal to number three. So that is the concept of this program. using if elif else statement you can easily see now program number h python program to check the prime number check prime number what is the prime number? Prime number are those numbers which are completely divisible by 1 and itself. Or we can say that prime number are those numbers which are not divisible by any other number except 1 and itself. So those are considered as a prime number. So the smallest prime number is 2. Okay, so in this program, we can give an, we have, if we want to check any particular number is uh, even number or not. So we just assign that number to a variable such as num. So num is equal to four zero seven. In this case, we have to check that four zero seven is a prime number or not. And second case, we give a user input. So you can easily see that you can also give user input by the right by just writing the statement num is equal to int input entire number and always remember that prime number is a integer okay so when we we talk about a prime number then we talk about just uh, an integer and if it is found that if number is not divisible by one and itself if a number is not divisible by any other number except one and itself then it is a prime number so that is the concept of the prime number and smallest prime number is 2 okay 
so we have to check whether first of all whether a number is greater than uh, greater than one or not so in this case you can easily see that the statement is given as, given as if number greater than one so if it is found that number is greater than one then second statement is basically a loop so second statement is basically a loop in which you can easily see that for i in range two common num so loop is there so we have to check number from two to num num minus one so we just give the num because uh, every number is divisible by itself okay and we have to check it from num minus one so we just give the range from two to num minus one so we just give two common num because last number is not included whatever we give in the range and then we check it against every number which lies between two and num lies between two and num here num is not included okay so first line is num uh, in this step uh, after that we just give a if statement if number num uh, model division by i is found to be equal to zero of course then that is a prime num that is not a prime number and we also give another statement print i times how many number of times it is divided by a particular number so float division operator is there you can easily see that double slash sign is there because it gives always you a integer value and then after the break so break statement is there because if number is found to be a prime is not uh, is not uh, found to be a prime then no need to execute the loop again Now, uh, if number is not a prime number, then definitely this is a. Then that will there will be a statement which shows that it is a, a prime number, and then statement will be printed just after that. You can easily see that else print number is a prime number. That else statement first if else statement, uh, statement is related to if and. Uh, Second else statement is basically related to for. So two if statement are there. First for if and second for for. That is also a very important point. You can easily see it. the program carefully so else statement is not only used with if it is also used with for statement a for loop if the condition is found to be false related to for that statement will be printed with else related to for and if a statement found to be false related to if then that statement will be printed against the else that statement will be printed else is also given with if statement so that is a program to find out the prime number so basically the most important thing is that prime numbers those numbers which are not divisible by any other number except one in itself so we have to check it from two to num minus one using a log and using a remainder operator, model division operator. So that is our today's lecture. I hope now you are able to understand these programs. So execute this program. It will give you an idea about uh, the programming and the concept. So thanks for watching this video.